All right, for analysis, we turn now to Dr. Mark Maravalli, Chair of Mariology at Franciscan University of Steubenville and Ave Maria University. Dr. Maravalli, great to be with you today. Um, first up, tell us your reaction to the news from the Vatican and also the timing of it. Why make this decision now? Well, first of all, it has to be, you know, emphasize that this is the highest possible uh, category that a reported apparition can, can, can receive. You know, back in May 2024, there was a new set of norms which eliminated the possibility of a local bishop or even the dicastery of the doctrine of faith itself to make a declaration of supernatural origin. So in light of the new norms, and there's now eight new, uh, excuse me, six new categories, the highest category is what Medjugorje received. So, and it received the Neil Obstat, meaning nothing stands in the way, because of the undeniable uh, spiritual fruits. Why does it come now? Well, I think the dicastery is making a bunch of uh, prudential decisions on these apparitions, not necessarily new research into them, but uh, kind of statements that are pragmatic. And uh, there was a, a sense that this would be a time to make a statement about Medjugorje, uh, which eventually allows people to continue to go there and to continue to believe, although it's not a statement of supernatural character. Yeah, and in its announcement, the Vatican uh, did acknowledge uh, the Magigoria was has a quote long and complex history. Tell us, you know, what have been a few of the controversies, and how is the Holy See addressing that in the declaration? Well, there's elements of controversy with any reported apparition. Uh, I think there were issues. Uh, concerning uh, some of the vi activity of the visionaries, uh, some of the reported messages. But I think we have to remember that this is always the case with a, with a reported apparition. I mean, this happens at Lourdes and Fatima with the miraculous medal. There's always secondary elements that can cause concern. At, at Lourdes, for example, there were several cases of demonic possession between the 14th and 16th apparitions. Uh, but I think overall, it's a, it's a very a significant green light of saying, look, we can't say it's supernatural because of our own norms, uh, but we can say that these spiritual fruits are undeniable. And I think this is very important because uh, Jesus in Scripture gives us the spiritual fruits as the single criterion. He says in Matthew 7, uh, 15 and 20, you'll know a good tree by good fruits. He also says a bad tree cannot produce good fruit. So when you're acknowledging the spiritual fruits, you have to implicitly be making reference uh, to a, a reality of something supernatural, even though you can't specifically say it. Otherwise, you're kind of separating Our Lady from the graces that she typically uh, brings, which, which give us indications of when we see something as supernatural. So I think it's a very positive overall direction, and I don't think you ever want to separate Our Lady from the graces uh, that she powerfully uh, brings in authentic apparitions. Yeah, and now that it's approved, what does this mean on a practical level, you know, for the average Catholic? Well, there's not a radical change from what it meant yesterday. This is an official Neil Obstat, and that means, again, nothing stands in the way. There can be devotions. There was a question this morning at the press conference in the Vatican, can you have new shrines to Medjugorje? And Cardinal Fernandez said, yes. So uh, the pilgrimages can continue, but of course, that was already the case. They already had an official status which again is not uh, explicit to authenticity, but certainly you don't want people going to places that the church thinks is, is fundamentally not authentic. And, and so uh, practically speaking, apparition uh, interest in Medjugorje can, can uh, continue. Uh, bishops can send pilgrimages there. And, and overall, I think it's a, a, an official statement uh, of the church saying, uh, we see great spiritual fruits, which are undeniable, and in that sense, we give it the highest possible approval that we can under the present norms. Well, Dr. Miravalli, thank you so much for weighing in. We really appreciate it. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you.